Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Wanted to show you uh, what happens when you don't have your weight distribution hitch properly set. You guys are not going to believe what you see. show you be showing you the video of what happened something that I just took upon myself that I thought I could install myself watched a bunch of videos um, to show how to properly install a weight distribution hitch but one thing that you won't know is if you're ball if your hitch on your truck the big hitch what the height should be where to set that and I'll show you here in a minute all right so welcome to the carnage that I have ensued on this trailer and looking at it it's pretty bad looking back at this um, you can tell the damage up close here where the actual frame got bent and then coming around to this other side I'm gonna show you what it looks like on this side here pretty bad as well and so when I have this hit that not the hitch but the clamp and the sway bar comes in and then it tells you to hold the chain straight up and that's where you're supposed to put those clamps on the frame. Wanted to give you a little whiteboard illustration of what you just saw in the video and kind of give you a little better understanding of also what happened to my trailer and I can explain that better in detail. So, excuse my drawings, because I suck at it. <laughs> so, basic understanding and principles. You have your truck, obviously, you have your trailer. You have a hitch, and on the hitch, you have two bars that come out. And they hook on to the trailer frame. And those on those bars, the weight distribution bars, there's a chain. And where that chain was, that's where the latch is, that's how you get the bars to be parallel with the frame. And I had it all set up correctly. What I didn't know and what I didn't take into account when I went camping one time was I was actually going on a pretty much washboardy road, went across a actual wash area, pretty good wash area. But what happened was going along the road and then it kind of gives a nice uphill from the wash area. So what happens when the trailer is right here, the truck's right here. What's gonna happen? Those bars are not gonna flex. They're not supposed to flex. So it's trying to do its job by keeping the trailer as level as possible. So that's where the incident occurred, it was right here. And it was entirely my fault. I learned a great lesson on weight distribution hitches and it cost me a pretty penny to do, or not to do, but to get it fixed. All right, so this is the trailer, how it is now after it was repaired. And this is the picture of the truck and trailer 
sitting level as it should after repairs. If you want to take on the task of setting up a weight distribution hitch yourself, they've come a long ways. E-Trailers is a great place to look for one, as well as Big Trucks, Big RV, YouTube channel. He has a lot of valuable information. That's where I gather all my information. So a big shout out to him as well. And just do your research. Make sure that you know when you travel off-roading that you're not having your weight distribution hitch on whatsoever. Give me a big thumbs up on this video if you liked it and if you got any value out of it, make sure you hit the subscribe button, follow our channel, and also go to our website, cherishthejourney.com, to follow us there as well. And remember to always cherish the journey in whatever you're doing and wherever you go. Bye guys.